In this video I will tell you about top 10 things about Van Diesel you didn't know if you like the video subscribe my channel. Van Diesel has had no problem becoming one of the most well-known action stars of this generation thanks in large part to his iconic role as Dominic Toretto in the Fast and the Furious franchise. Clearly there is a lot more to Van Diesel than it seems. So check out 10 things you never knew about the handsome and talented star. At number 10. Early life and family history. First of all, it is surprising for many fans to learn that Van Diesel isn't the star's real name. He was born on July 18, 1967 as Mark Sinclair to his mother, Delora Sherlene Vincent, in Alameda County, California. It is also surprising to know that Diesel is a twin. He is just moments older than his fraternal twin brother, Paul. He also has a younger sister and a younger brother, and to this day, his ethnicity remains a mystery. Diesel was raised by his mother and his stepfather Irving H. Vincent, but he never knew his biological father, and his mother hasn't given him much information. At number 9. First Job So how does Mark Sinclair turn into Van Diesel so easily? Well it all goes back to his first job before acting. In his late teens, while attending Hunter College, he worked as a club bouncer in New York at famous venues such as the now-closed Tunnel and Mars. He went by Van, taken from his stepfather's surname Vincent, and soon gained the nickname Diesel by his co-workers because he always had so much energy on the job and was constantly fueled up. Van Diesel stuck and he kept it as his stage name as his star in the industry got higher and higher. At number 8. Fast and the Furious, and Riddick. Fans of the Fast and the Furious franchise continue to try to eliminate the third film, Tokyo Drift, from the series. It was without a doubt an odd addition to the franchise with mostly new stars and none of the franchise's major stars, until of course Van Diesel as Dominic Toretto appears at the end. The cameo was important for the franchise to signal to fans they would see Dom again in future films, and since Diesel knew they needed him, he worked out a deal for the appearance. Instead of being paid for the cameo, Diesel asked Universal to give him the rights to his passion project, Riddick. At number 7. Net Worth. After securing the rights to Riddick, Diesel put a lot of faith into the third film which meant coming up with a concept, script and starring in it, and providing much of the budget. Diesel used much of his personal fortune to give Riddick a budget of $38 million. After cutting off the films, initially Universal came back to distribute the films which helped greatly in promotion and Riddick ended up making just under $100 million worldwide, beating the budget and paying off for Diesel. Now, thanks to the enormous success of Furious 7, Diesel still has a whopping net worth of $200 million. At number 6. Not just an actor. Diesel is not always just the brawn in his films, he is very often the brains behind it as well, and is involved in many facets of the entertainment industry. He started the film production company One Race Films, which has been the company behind different films of Diesel's including XXX and The Pacifier. One Race Films also has its own video game development company, Tigan Studios. Tigan is branching out with games, but is best known for creating the games in the Riddick franchise. At number 5. Getting His Start. Diesel started acting at the young age of 7 when he made his stage debut in the children's play Dinosaur Door, but the way he became involved in the play is the interesting part. Diesel, his brother and some of their friends broke into the theater for the new city in Greenwich Village in order to vandalize it. They were caught by the theater's artistic director who offered the boys roles in the play instead of calling the police. Acting and writing then became passions for Diesel and he went on to write, direct, produce and star in his own semi-autobiographical short film Multifacial. The short was selected for screening at the 1995 Cannes Film Festival where he was noticed by many in the industry. At number 4. Missed Roles. Over the years, 
Diesel has only had a few roles given how he has starred in many films of the same franchise including The Fast and the Furious, XXX, and Riddick, but he could have had a few more. In 2003, Diesel was offered the lead role in the film Daredevil, but turned it down to focus on his role as Xander Cage in XXX instead, leaving the door open for Ben Affleck. It is one that Diesel definitely doesn't regret, however, as Daredevil is regarded as one of the biggest superhero movie flops, he was also Revolution Studios' first choice for the title role in the 2004 film Hellboy, however, director Guillermo del Toro wanted Ron Perlman and said he would not direct the film if Perlman wasn't cast. At number 3. Family Life. For his entire career, Diesel has been very private about his family life. He has over the years briefly lifted the veil on his personal life, however, and in 2001 dated his Fast and Furious co-star Michelle Rodriguez for a short time. Diesel is now in a long-term relationship with model Paloma Jimenez. They have since welcomed three children, daughter Hania Riley born in April 2008, son Vincent Sinclair born in 2010, and daughter Pauline, named after Diesel's longtime friend and co-star Paul Walker, born March 2015, two years after Walker's death. At number 2. Those Rumors. Due to his desire to keep his personal life private and out of the eye of the media, for years rumors plagued the star that he was gay and not willing to admit it. After months of not commenting on his sexuality, Diesel only stated, I'm not gonna put it out there on a magazine cover like some other actors. I come from the Harrison Ford, Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino code of silence. When he finally did start opening up about his family and his longtime girlfriend, many were surprised as the media had convinced them he was gay. At number 1. Huge following. In the age of social media stars and Instagram models, it may be surprising to learn that out of all the stars including actors, actresses, musicians, sports stars and models on Facebook, Van Diesel ranks as one of the most followed by fans. At the top of the list is soccer star Christian Ronaldo with over 115 million followers, next is singer Shakira with just over 104 million, and in third is Van Diesel with 99 million followers. He beats out the likes of Justin Bieber by 4 spots and even Taylor Swift by 7. For more interesting videos subscribe my channel.